Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am very happy to share this moment with you. It's, I just received a bag and I am so happy to have it. And this is a bag that I was hoping to get for a long time. It first came out in 2020 and it's part of a collaboration with Coach. And when I saw it, I didn't think twice about it, I knew I was never going to get this bag. First of all, it had lettering all over it, and that's, I didn't realize what I was looking at, but it turned out that this, this bag is uh, created, the bag wasn't created, but it is the artwork of a, a street painter. He was, a, I believe he was a graffiti artist, and uh, he did his uh, artwork in New York, and he is said to be the artist of our time. And so at that point, I didn't know he was the artist of our time. I just saw words on a bag and you know, I wasn't gonna get it, it wasn't my style. And it takes me a long time to appreciate new things. And this is the case in this, with this bag as well, because I, after a while, I did see that everyone was buying it and it was they had beautiful bags and beautiful accessories so i looked into getting it and at, and when i looked into getting it this bag wasn't available anymore which is always the case with me so i bought the 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 outlet version which i love i use it and i it's a it's not a rogue style it's more of a i don't know what you would call it, almost like a tote kind of style a handheld tote, a small tote. It's long, and the I love it because the items that you put stay in one place. They don't get, they don't travel all over the bag as you're walking or, or using it. And I really like it, and it's beautiful. But I still always wanted the style that that was famous, and it actually is famous because not only because it's famous, but it has the words famous on it. And what I'm referring to, and I'm going to mess up the name as usual, but it is the collaboration, the Coach X, or Times, Coach X um, Basquiat, Basquiat, his name is, and he, he's deceased, his name is Jean, Jean, Mike, Jean Michel Basquiat, Basquiat, and uh, he was quite, quite an, a very talented man. And uh, so I eventually bought the first bag in from the outlet, but still always wanted the retail version. And uh, it was, then it went on sale. The, the bag was very expensive for what I consider to be expensive, $7.95. I think that's expensive. And um, then it went to the outlet for 60% off. And my outlet is a rural outlet, and it's a it's far it's not even near me. It's not my outlet, but it's a it's an hour and a half ride back and forth, and forty five minutes each way, and they never get any anything really that you know that's or or at least they get only a, a one or two, and by the time I find out about it, it's gone. So I never had access to, to getting that bag until I decided to put out what's called an in search of on Facebook, which means I'm looking for a bag. And I put a picture of it and somebody, a friend on YouTube, not on YouTube, I'm sorry, a friend on Facebook told me who has one for sale. So I went, I notified that person that I was interested. She asked me if I saw her, her ad and I did not. And so she showed me a picture of the ad, and it's a picture of the bag, and the price was seven ninety five. Now I didn't know, I didn't know really anything about it. I really should have inquired. I should have asked for pictures. I I didn't ask for pictures, and so if you don't ask for pictures, uh, it's your fault. <laughs> you have to be an informed buyer. I remember from economics, the phrase buyer beware, and you have to be an informed buyer. If you're not buying from a store that will take back the item if you don't like it. When you buy on Facebook or, or groups and you buy from a, another person that isn't the retailer, you can't send it back. They don't take refunds, they're not a store, and I, you shouldn't expect to, 
to be able to uh, send it back either. You really shouldn't. So, um, so I should have looked. They she told the she advertised it as new with tags. However, there was an issue because when it came to me, in my opinion, I it, it didn't look. I wouldn't call it brand new. Uh, let's put it that way. And it was only later after I received the bag that I learned that she bought it at a discount, not $7.95, but she actually bought it for, I believe, six. I don't know actually, but I know it was on sale for 60% off in the outlet. And um, I paid $7.95 for the full, full price. So I was a little upset about that because usually everybody that I've ever dealt with before passes on the savings to the person that buys it. They bought it for less, they sell it to the person for less than retail. That's normally the case. In this case, it was not normally. It was not normal. So, I don't mean to make this a long story, but I want to show you why I was really upset because on the bag was a lock and she didn't send the key, but she did send a note. And the note was thanked me for, for buying the bag from her. And on the bottom of it, and let me put my glasses on so I get this right. On the bottom of the note, it says, P.S. I lost the key. To, I lost the key to the lock, but will send it if slash when I find it. Okay, it's supposed to be new with tags. It's, why does it have a lock on it? that you don't have the key for. Then I called, then I, I didn't call, I messaged uh, Alana, who has a channel, Coach Crave, no, not Coach, Coach Craves, excuse me, and everybody should join that, join her, subscribe to her, because she, it's, her channel is so awesome. I spend most of my time watching her channel. She gives you tours and in-depth, in-depth face-to-face with the new bags that are in the stores. So if you have no access to a store, you watch our channel and you don't have to actually you shop. You don't buy anything, but you, uh, you see what's available and you could call an essay in a store and order it. You don't even have to leave your house. She has a fantastic channel, Coach Craze, C-R-A-Z-E. And I highly, highly recommend this. And she was a very big help to me because um, I, d I didn't even know what I was looking at because I never saw the bag in person. So I told her, how do you get the lock off? And she said, what lock? It doesn't come with a lock. Well, if it doesn't come with a lock, how could it be new, what, new with tags if it doesn't come with a lock? So let me show you what the lock looks like. It was not only, not just a lock, it was a padlock. This is the lock. This, see that? That's where it's attached to the bag, and this is a padlock. And it didn't come with the lock. So I have to question, I question why uh, is this really new with tags? And she told me she bought it at a discount, and it was, she bought it in a store, and it was on display. So that might, dis might explain why it didn't look brand brand new to me because when it's on display everyone who comes in the store could pick it up and try it on or they could have returned it and the person who was running the store put it out on display there's a lot of things that could have happened so i decided well i had a discussion with my friends and they said do you want the bag because they're very hard to find now and i said yes so i decided to take it as it is and just love it and enjoy it and i don't have to be afraid of carrying it because it's kind of broken in already and that's how i feel because usually i my new things i'm afraid to use i have a closet full of bags that scare me and um this one I, i'm going to use and i'm going to use it right away and the reason i'm wearing all black today is because i intend to wear it with all black i love it and it is so cute and so pretty. And uh, even though it wasn't the best um, transaction, I still appreciate that this person sold it to me. And I, I'm happy to, very happy to have it. And here it is.
Yeah, I love it. I love it. This is the Rogue 25, and this is the collaboration that I just told you about. Coach times, or Coach X, uh, Jean, Jean, Jean Michelle pa Pasquat. I, I'm sure it's not right, but if you could figure out what I said, <laughs> that, that's what it is. It's, it's pebble leather, it's natural pebble and glove tan leather. And it is just gorgeous. The hardware is gold tone or brass. It might be brass. I don't even know. This is the back where it has more of his uh, artwork. Now, keep in mind, he was a graffiti artist among probably he was an artist in other fields. But <laughs> New York has some beautiful, I'm, I'm a New Yorker, I'm from New York. New York has some beautiful graffiti, and I never knew I was looking at his work. Maybe I was, and maybe I left New York before he did that, but. Has four feet, and this protective extra reinforcement. And this looks like it's an extra panel for the bottom. It has a double zipper. Well, it's closed right now, but it's one, one on one side, one on the other, and they meet in the middle. And it has these shoulder straps, which is, <laughs> excuse me, an 11 and a half inch strap. And it has a long strap, which you could use for a long shoulder, which I will never use because it falls off my shoulder. Or you could use it as a crossbody. And I don't know if I'm going to use the crossbody strap because this not this bag is not light, and with the things in it, it's even more not light. And um, the crossbody strap will lay on my neck and be very uncomfortable. I find this is a very un is a very comfortable way for me to carry it on my shoulder. This seems to be like an indentation over here that was probably made for women. <laughs> by design, so the bags don't fall off the shoulder. I love it. I'm so happy to have it, despite Everything that preceded, preceded this moment, yes, I'm very happy to have it. And I did pay full price. And, you know, I, that might not have been fair, but that's, it is like it is. And I am going to just love it and enjoy it and use it and use it. I want to show you what's in it. It has a double handle which if you're not familiar with the new rogues, the old rogues were not able to go like this. The old rogues stayed pretty much straight or went inward. These you could go do like this, put it outside the bag as well. And it'll look like this. Oh, it has writing on over here too. I have to read that to you. It's so, it's so cute and could be interpreted so many different ways. It's this writing here, and this is suede, and it says, don't scream, I want your purse. <laughs> is that, uh, that could be interpreted in several different ways. This is how it looks zippered. The zippers are really nice. These are pockets. What do I have here? Oh. I have a, a card case. I believe this is called the Mini Skinny or Skinny Mini. It holds cards and it also holds cash. I figured I would put my um, 
my loyalty cards in here and keep it in this pocket. This is a pocket, which is a new feature of the, I guess you would call them the generation four of these, of the Rogue. Here, this is the first year, first um, year, I guess, that they have pockets in these outside, these open pockets. And on this side, there is a card case, a card that holds one, well, it, it could hold, probably hold more than one, but it could hold credit cards. I wouldn't put credit cards there, but I would put it in here. No, I, no, I wouldn't even put it in here. I would put my loyalty cards in here and keep my, cred, my other card case in the bag with the zipper because, you know, so it's a little e harder to get to for security purposes. This is the this is suede, and that's oxblood. This is the tag. The tag is in here. This is the tag that was on this bag. I don't know if it was, if this is an original tag. No, that's original. The original price was $7.95. Inside, I have my things in here. And there's still room. I have this. I, this is my battery my battery that you use if you're running if your cell phone is running down i'm using this to take the place of my phone so just to judge how what could fit inside there so i have that i have this size wristlet fits in with the strap i have this car snap card case wallet this is to, this actually came with the the um, person who sold it to me included this in the sale over here it says coach times Jean Michelle Basquet and the and the crown insignia. Be able to see that. And it holds a few cards here. And this is for your ID. A couple of cards over here. You have a slot over here where you can stick things there. It has a full bill section. And this leather is very nice. I believe this is refined have a leather and it has a zipper section with a little C charm which is nice and smooth which is for coins or little things or papers that you want to keep and, and not fall out so this came with it so you know it wasn't such a bad deal as I originally thought. And what else is in here? My keys. My full size wallet. Just I just put it in here just so that you can see that it fits in here. And this is the how it looks empty. This there's a snap pocket here. And this is lined in trimmed in leather. This is um, some kind of jacquard, I think. I really don't know. I never learned what this material is. I believe the the gold, the um, hardware is is brass. I believe that it is. I have a charm which I got from the outlet. And I was very lucky to get it. I think there was only two 
left when I when I found this. This is the famous. Now the brand new one that just came out because the family uh, of the the estate of of uh, Mr. Basque, uh we released some new items in collaboration with Coach, and they released this bag, but not in black, in ivory. And <laughs> excuse me. And that is actually why I started my search again for this bag, because I had forgotten about it. And then I said, oh, I really, really want that bag. We're, my husband and I are trying to figure out what this is. Is it paint? Is it uh, supposed to be representative of pigeon trappings, which are very common in New York? I'm not sure what it is, but I like it. So this is crown. And I don't know what this is. It might, I don't know what it is. I'm going to guess that it's some kind of a signature, but I, it's only a guess. I don't believe this is part of the 1941 collection because there is no indication, even if there are, I have the same bag in all black and it's the same fourth generation. However, on the, underneath the flap here, we'll have a design which is representative of the 1941 collection. This one does, has no design here. And I believe that they didn't put this in the 1941 collection, and it's just my guess. It's, I have no inside information at all. It's just my guess that this is part of this collection, and this is special in and of its own self. And it really, really is. And I, when I wore my other bag, the outlet bag, when I wore it shopping, and I, t I told the woman that I had, the, I wasn't wearing it this day, when I told the woman in, in the coach store that I, I have a, a Basque a bag, <laughs> she told me, don't sell it. Uh, she gave me the impression that it, it was it's going to be a valuable piece that you should keep. So I'm not going to be selling this, but I am going to be using it, and I'm very, very happy to use it, very happy to have it. Let me show you how it looks on me with these straps and then with the other strap. It's very comfortable like this for me. It doesn't look good with all black. I know you can pick up any of these colors, but when I come from New York and we wear all black, all the time, at least when I was, you know, when, when I was younger, when I lived there. So I would, I'm wearing this with all black. Now to change the strap, just take this off. And this is the kind of hardware that it has. It's, I think they refer to this as dog clip. These are the straps. It has like a roundish part on the top and a flat bottom. So there's two of those. In this strap, I believe I said it was a 21 and a half inch. I have that written down. I'll check on that. And it, you can it has uh, holes in here so you can adjust it. It's adjustable and detachable. And it goes on opposite corners. The other straps go, each strap goes on the same side and this goes diagonal. Like this. And I think this is a really cute way to carry it also. But for, in, for a long period of time, if it's heavy, it's going to be sitting here and it's going to be heavy on my neck. But it's so cute though, anyway. Great with jeans, casual, dressy. This is a, like an everything bag. I really, really am happy with it. 
You know, now that it's empty, I should tell you how much it weighs. Because I forgot to find out before. Because that's important. Uh, rogues are notoriously a little heavier because of all the hardware. And this hardware, this is, this is not junk. Look at this. This is what my husband will call a skookum. I think that's a Native American word. My husband is part Native American. These are substantial. And this bag is going to weigh one pound 15 ounces, which is not bad, almost two pounds. And that's completely empty without the straps. With the strap, with this strap, since it's going to be on your neck if you're carrying it as a crossbody, that brings it to two and a half pounds. Two pounds, 5.2 ounces. So still, it depends if, if you're not in your 70s, you might be able to carry it more comfortably than me. So that's my new bag. One day soon, I'd like to do a video of all the pieces that I have, because I have the other bag that is also black from the outlet that I love, and I have uh, some uh, small leather goods. And I'm now I'm on the hunt for more small leather goods, and um, I want to do a, more of a complete uh, collection as I accumulate some, some things. And one other thing, as a request, I got a request in comments which I'm going to fulfill right now. Somebody asked me to please show Izzy more. So I'm gonna show Izzy more. So I hope this isn't boring the people that uh, aren't interested, but here we go. She is a sleepy head. She was sleeping behind me. Are you a sleepy head? You say hi to everybody. Say hi. Say hi, Ann Park. Hi, everybody. This is Izzy. Love her so much. She's everything to me. She's everything. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take good care. I love you guys. Bye.